What's up? I'm Harley Rocks from Rock 104.5 here with Escape the. Fa What's up? Or what was that nickname you gave me online? Rarley? You remember that stream? Yep. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So how's it going? The tour just ended yesterday. It did. The tour itself ended yesterday, and today I believe is our last. Day before yesterday, that's right. Day off. Oh, day before yesterday. Here. That's right. And then this is the last show I think we have of the year. Wow. So you released Out of the Shadows mm -hmm. recently. Killer album. Thank I you just, very much. There's so much I want to know. Because um, I know, like, you seem like so much in your life. You're so happy. How do you keep coming up with these lyrics that's, like, so relatable to, you know, people who are going through something? Well, because I feel like I'm always going through something. <laughs> Revisiting a lot of old pain oh, man. on this one for sure, but and it was great. Yeah, that's an awesome outlet too. Um, you know, I feel like I can relate to that. Oh know, yeah, songwriting is therapy for me, and then the live shows is therapy. And it's I've been amazing. standing on stage every night this last tour. The the smiles and the energy and the people singing along is my medication. Oh, that's awesome! Super awesome. So we came to. Surprise y'all in Vegas. Yeah, that was a killer show. Vegas was amazing. I know like that was the first time You know, I'd ever been to Brooklyn Bowl and you've been there before I have I DJed night, a right? couple emo nights there So yeah. I was very excited to get back there and play it play Sweet. a show because the crowd is just amazing Yeah, and yeah, we were pumped yeah, it was a good one. I had a good time that night awesome and you played a killer solo oh, dude all you. tour I was just fucking around you sure about that? I was just improvising Dude. every night over something <laughs> I made. That's super awesome. And what I noticed, I actually dug into y'all set lists earlier in the tour. Y'all actually did do a cover that you did not do in Vegas. We did it some nights. Yeah? Yeah. That was super cool. You're yeah, a fan Ro of the 80s Robert metal? Robert decided, I'm a huge fan of 80s metal. Awesome. Um, Robert, not so much, I guess. Really? He's a fan of it, but he didn't like playing it. Oh, Oh, so it's and he's like, I feel like them? majority of our fans, they they don't even know what it is. You'd be surprised. I'm actually. like, we're playing for an hour and twenty minutes. Yeah, we can do one. <laughs> pour some sugar on me, Def Leppard cover. I know, right? Because it's fun. Yeah. Plus, like something I've noticed lately is a lot of the younger crowd, because whether it be their parents or like you know all those biopics that have come out, like yeah. love '80s metal. And I see a lot. I love it. Yeah. I see a lot of those people there, and I'm like, let's say they came to bring, <laughs> right, yeah, exactly, to bring the family, or they're just there, and they're like, yeah, all right, this is pretty cool. I yeah. guess this is what you're listening to these days. And then we bust out the Def Leppard. You're gonna be like, all right, these guys are pretty cool. Yeah. You know, that's my thought process. Yeah. Plus, I'd say on stage every night, if you don't know this song, do me a favor, go home and look up <laughs> Def Leppard, and educate yourself. All right, Jay got a question. So when you do pour some sugar on me or a song like that do you put that escape the fates uh twist on it a little bit but when it comes to songs like that i don't want to change it too much okay. it's a classic yeah. you know so i guess the only twist to the song is it's my voice and his Maybe guitar a playing bit heavier added some more like distortion and pinch harmonics and stuff but pretty much we stayed pretty true to it Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, so I saw the video from y'all's show at Webster Hall in New York. Yeah. You added some screams at the end. That was pretty and dope. And pour some sugar on me? Yeah. I did. I did that at the very end. That was so cool. Cause that, cool. Uh, I didn't even notice that. That's cool. Really? <laughs> well, yeah, because that hair metal falsetto Definitely. thing that they do. At oh the and we played it at the end of the set. Yeah. My falsetto is gone by the end of the oh, set. Oh, no. <laughs> With all the screaming and stuff. You can kiss that falsetto goodbye. Oh, man. So do you have a favorite song to play live? Like, could be any record. Yes, this tour. Forgive me, that new opening track off the new album. That one's really fun to play. And that's my favorite, too. Yeah, collectively, we've all really enjoyed playing that one on this tour. And that one, you know, the question I asked earlier about the lyrics, like, that was the one that struck me as, like, wait, it, it's so deep. Like, yeah. man, absolutely killer. But Thank you. you. The second to last song, Tears to Goodbye, you actually collaborated with Spencer Charnas of mm -hmm. Ice Nine Kills. Yes. How was that working with him? It was great. When we finished recording the song, I knew I wanted to have somebody feature on the record. And after I heard that second verse, I knew I wanted it to be Spencer. I'm That's like, awesome. 
He's going to sound great on this. Like, if you're looking for somebody, number one, that has a great voice and good vocal ability, Spencer's your man. But number two, very thematic vocalist. Okay. You know what I mean? And that's the feeling I wanted to get out of that song. So I was hoping he'd be into it, hit him up. He said he was definitely into it. Awesome. Came in, did it really quick, sounded perfect. Wow. And I'm just happy. Happy of the end result. That's super cool. And so let's talk about the music video. Um, it's got several different aspects to it. Yeah. The one that I noticed that was so cool was like where you could see in your glasses and Spencer's like oh, right you there. Like I'm that. like, bro. Hey. <laughs> hey. That was your idea. Yeah. Awesome. So we had to come back. Well, I had to come back on a different day uh -huh. to film my parts with Spencer because he was on tour. Of course. He's been killing it out on the road nonstop lately. So. He was kind enough to share his time with us and get that footage sent over. So it's like, all right, we need Craig to come back and, and film with Spencer on this big video wall. That's how we're going to do it. Cool. And I was like, I want it to feel more immersive, like more like he's here. How can I do that? Yeah. And I had these really shiny like mirror lens glasses. So I showed up, I was like, all right, I'm gonna put these glasses on and I want you to see if you can get a shot of the video wall reflecting off my glasses so it looks like he's in my vision, like within me, like <laughs> singing these parts. He's like, all right, let's see if it's doable. And he showed me the playback. I was like, that looks awesome. Wow. So it's cool you called that out. Heck yeah. Now that yeah. was actually one of the things I noticed aside from like, I really like that beginning part because it almost, it kind of reminds me of like the whole Alice in Wonderland, like taking yeah. the, the drink me. That was little my vial. idea too. Yeah, yeah. I figured. I, I figured. even made a little drink me bottle for that part yeah. specifically. Uh -huh. I don't think you can see the drink me tag yeah. on it in the video, but I saw the photo that you posted though. So but that that's was... supposed to portray, like, I wanted to have a beginning part of the video that portrayed us entering this world, mm -hmm. and what better way than it to look like I'm drinking because that was the demons I was battling. Right. And so I wanted to show that, okay, now we're entering this world. That's awesome. Of blackoutness, Sweet. pretty much, you know, this dark carnival. I got another question. So you guys went on tour earlier this year with Papa Roach, mm -hmm. Hollywood Undead, Falling in Reverse, yes. and Escape the Fate. Now, with the history with, you know, Ronnie and Escape the Fate, and how, how was that as kind of like a, was that kind of like a healing process w amongst the members it, of the band? or, or It was. What was it like? The very first tour we did together, um, which a lot of the fans famously know is the Barry the Hatchet tour. Mm -hmm. um, and then we've toured together at least three times okay. All right. since then. Good. So... This time was just, I, I guess if you want to call it healing, even more healing. Right. Because after the pandemic and after Ronnie had already had some massive success, mm -hmm. Popular Monster came out. Right. And the success just grew and grew and grew and grew. And he is destroying it out there right now. Right. Like, I don't even want to say top of the game because I think it could go even further than that. Wow. So the fact that he wanted to extend an invite for us yeah. during this time of growth was awesome that is great so it was like all right we're doing this bury the hatchet thing that's cool and then just to see him grow to that level and still be like i want to bring you guys out on this tour right was amazing that is uh that is incredible yeah. what uh what was it like to uh tour with papa roach one of my oh, all-time favorite bands with i mean roach jacoby is, is like i mean yeah. a he's you know sacramento they're the legend. best people super humble super hard working super into it yeah. Um, we've toured with them a couple times over the years. And Hollywood Undead, we've toured with a bunch. Right, yeah. Great Even went guys to the there. UK great and guys. Europe with them. So oh, cool. Those are some really close homies of mine. So that tour just felt great. That was, that was just like one big family and just a one fun One big tour. family yeah. thing and to show up in those arenas and sold out and see everybody walk on stage and kill it every night. It was it was great. That is great. I, I appreciate that. Now, and when you, do, when you do that tour, I mean, do you guys bring Ronnie out for any of the, the, the songs from the very beginning, from the first no, album? No, because usually, usually if you're playing like a headline set, right. oh, yeah, that's you don't point. necessarily come out and right, yeah. you're kind of saving your voice. Okay. You All know right, what fair I mean? enough. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Very cool. I'm going to pass it back over to oh, Harvey. For sure. I appreciate that. Yeah, so last question. Um, one thing I always have held Escape the Fate in high regard with is y'all's blend of screams and the clean vocals, which just gives it that like perfect blend that we know is Escape the Fate. So when did you decide to go that direction as opposed to say like just straight up rock and roll? Hmm. Yeah, 
you've always been good at doing screaming and singing. Here's yeah, I, do that. I think it. Yeah. yeah, I think it was a mix of when I joined the band, the album that existed before me, and the band that I came from. So, screaming and singing was in that first album. I was a screaming, singing vocalist from my first band, so it just made sense to go that route. And then, obviously, as we know, after that record came out, This War Is Ours is still a really popular song for us. So we always still like to revisit yeah. those heavy undertones. And heavy's kind of, I, I love it. It's like in my blood at this point. So that's why I have dead rabbits on the side so I can oh, get yeah. even heavier yeah. if I want to. So. It's always been part of the band and what we do. So we'll see. I think it always will be. That's super awesome. And coincidentally, this is funny, the first time I brought Rod to meet y'all in one of your shows, yeah. four years ago today. It's crazy, right? Four years ago four today. Four years ago today. It doesn't seem like it was that long ago. I know. And That's he did, nuts. And actually, This War Is Ours is his favorite. Sick. Yeah, he loves it. Just yeah. the guitar riff. You got like what two solos in there, which is just insane. Almost. Like at the beginning, kind of. Yeah, and then, yeah. You know, you go into the solo. Yeah, you do have the intro it's solo sick, and man. then the, the bridge solo. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's cool. Thank you guys so much. Of course. Much. Thank you for talking to, to us, Harley. Appreciate it. I mean, a week later. Yeah. Couldn't get enough apparently. Hey, hey. So, um, but if yeah. What's up? This is Craig. What's up? This is Maddie. And we're from Escape the Fate, and you're listening to Rock 104.5.